In this video, we're going to tie a little caddis emerger pattern called the iris caddis. First thing we're going to do is start off with a Daiichi 1550 or 1560 nymph hook and some Vivas 12 aught thread and tan. Now today we're going to tie this fly in a caddis tan color. This is the color that I've had the most success with. I found this fly fishing up on the Madison. Some of the guides in the shop told me to buy a few and when I first saw it I thought it looked pretty goofy but uh, it sure does fish especially in the evenings up there. So I take a little clump of tan, caddis tan, Zelon. I'm just going to wrap it down the bend of the hook a little bit. The few that I've bought and seen, they kind of go down on the bend of the hook slightly. Then we're going to trim our tail so that it's about the length of the straight shank portion of the hook. You can trim out any kind of straggler fibers. And you can trim out the front. Now to tie it in a tan color, we're just going to use some natural light hair's ear dubbing. And the body on this fly is tied pretty sparse. You just need enough to kind of coat the thread body, and cover everything up. You've got to be real careful not to overdo it. So we just kind of creep our dubbing forward, just a few wraps at a time. A little bit of bugginess on this body. If there's a few of the guard hairs and fibers stuck in there. Don't worry, that's actually a good thing on this fly. Caddis are kind of buggy, leggy, antenna everywhere kind of a fly, so that honestly helps the fly fish, I think. Then we're going to take some white Zelon. We're going to pull out any of the short fibers, just leaving a nice long section. And we're going to tie it in on one side of the shank of the hook. Then we're going to pull it tight we're going to make a little bit of a loop. And I want this loop to extend just past the back of the shank of the hook. Just like that. So I got kind of a loop going around the entire top of the fly. And we could trim out the rest of that Zelon. Now you look at this fly and you probably think the same thing I did. Boy, that sure looks like a big just yarn poof ball. Um, but don't be alarmed. Once you fish it in the evening when the caddis are hatching, about an hour or two before the sun kind of goes down, and I promise it'll make you a believer. You can tie this fly in a few different sizes. I like them in a size 16 but you can tie them in a 14, also in an 18. You can tie it in olive, you can tie them in black, amber, you can really tie them in a bunch of different colors. So now we're just going to build a head at the front of the fly with some of that dubbing. I'm going to be a little bit more generous with my dubbing on the head. I kind of want to build a little cone taper to the front half of the head there. Then we could take our whip finisher and just whip finish right there at the front. You can trim out those guard hairs, leave them in. Either way, it doesn't really matter. The fish like them either way. I'm going to take a little bit of a brush here and I'm actually just going to brush out some of the dubbing. Just kind of swoop it all back. And that is a tan colored iris caddis. Super buggy fly. Really, really works. Takes kind of the mystery out of the caddis pupa fishing on the Madison in the evening. Can be kind of tough unless you have a fly that looks just like this. Um, I've had the best success with this tan color, uh, but olive color. I've got one here also is a good color as well. So he kind of has an olive body down at the bottom. But great little fly up on the Madison in the evenings. And that is the Iris Caddis.